Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So this video, we have episode three of Rings of Power season two. Um, last episode, we, we had a couple of name drops. They named, they both name dropped Rings of Power and they name dropped Lord of the Rings, which was kind of fucking crazy. Like that was kind of, kind of fucking sick. Um, and now everyone is on their way to Celebrimbor. Um, and yeah, and he didn't get any of the messengers because the messengers got shot um so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens um and especially when gladriel finds out that he he was going by her request of not treating with him but then he came in all gatekeep girl boss gaslight and was like yeah let's be besties so i don't know what's gonna happen but let's get into it <laughs> please beric please he won't listen to you won't listen to any of us. He knows the Silder is still out there. God, that's so cool. I'm never gonna get over how stunning everything in this show is. Oh my god, this horse, man. <laughs> Don't be afraid, four legs. We ain't gonna eat ya. Yet. Kill him. <laughs> King, oh my fucking god. Dude. Beric is a badass bitch. Imagine being like so soul bonded with an animal like this, especially a horse. Like this is very like something a dog would do, but to have a horse, this is incredible. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. It's gonna be like Shellob's mum. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can hear it. I can see it out of the corner of my eye. I, I can't, I can't watch this. Nope. 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just not... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't watch spider stuff. I've always, I've always skipped Shellob every single time. Same with like the spider stuff in Harry Potter. Same with like the fucking spiders in Skyrim. I can't, I can't do it. I can't watch it. So I hope not, no important dialogue happens here because I can't listen and I can't watch. I can, I can see it out of the corner of my eye so I'll know when it's done. Oh god, I've just realized I'm gonna have to edit this later as well. I'm gonna have to actually look at it when I'm editing it. Ah. Uh... Ah. Oh. Did he make it out alive? I mean, obviously he made it out alive, but... <laughs> What if someone knew a way to turn many into enough? In the event that someone did, why would they not bring it forth? They might be afraid of what could happen. There is nothing to fear at this table, my child. Hey, Arian. What bell was you? Valendil. Came here to bury a king. Mm. Well, I'll rest him and keep him. Should have liked to have been there. Pity members of the common soldiery weren't invited. Especially given the lower class of folk that were. Did you just insult my father? No, I believe I insulted you. What? I bled with the queen on the battlefield. 
should be killing the queen again. It don't be you suffers an infirmity. Have I made myself plain? Or did we settle this to other means? Plain enough? Yeah, sit down, pussy boy. Well, I'd say that's worth another ale. I don't like this guy. What was it you were about to say, Earian? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's a big boy. Trolls do be trolls, I guess. I gather you received a message. Where? Is Sauron? God, his voice, Jesus Christ! Kill that echo and throw my whole house. I fucking hate Amazon Prime. You brought us here to barter jewelry. These rings will be beyond any power yet devised by dwarf or man or elf. They shall be rings of power. Oh my god, is Elrond and Durin to finally got to get to mouth. see each other again? Just as they have healed our great tree. Elrond. The Mithril. A generous offer, Lord Celebrimbor. But why not take it to our king? Durin the Elder has always been hesitant to accept outside aid. My father and I are no longer on speaking terms. What do you You'd sooner convince an orc to sit for a sunbath and get the two of us in a room together. <laughs> I'm afraid that'd be of little help. We summoned you here to help you. I'm sorry. Who exactly are you? Yes, forgive me. This is uh, a friend. I see. And where's Elrond? Lindon's restoration demands his full attention. Does it now? Harold Elrond said he could think of little else than helping his dwarven friend. He speaks of you so fondly. Funny. He's never mentioned you, Lord. Anatar. Uh -huh. <laughs> Elrond said that you were the wisest of all the dwarves. Did he speak true? Or is there someone else we should be treating with? My lords. Might we have a wee moment to, to mull it over? I am Certainly. afraid. Take whatever time you need. Don't what get you too much on your high horse, buddy. I was thinking, whoever that Anatar is, he doesn't know Elrond from a hole in the ground. How do you know? Because Elrond would never say such nice things about me. Aren't you in the least bit relieved? Uh, I don't care if they're magic earrings. If there's even a hope <laughs> of a solution here, no matter how far-fetched, our king needs to know about it. Either you bring news of this to your father, or I will. Listen to her. Don't She's the brains of this relationship. A slow drip split. So give them time. Honestly, get rid of get get rid of King Durin. Just let Deza be the king. Time is a luxury we lack. Your High King believes the Dwarves to be unworthy of this power. In fact, he has forbidden the forging of any more rings at all. <laughs> and the truth is, he does not even know I am here. Well, what business is it of his how I conduct myself in my own realm? Oh. No! We have not the time to bandy words about convincing him who is worthy of aid. What are you doing? I am congratulating the High King on the efficacy of the three and telling him that I'm closing up the forge. You sneaky son of a bitch. You would lie to your High King. 
I would grant us the space to complete our work. This, this, this is my moment. You let him have his moment. He will not take it away. I don't know, I feel bad for him, man. He just needs someone who is not Sauron to congratulate him on what he's done and to give him a break and give him a hug. They escaped the spider, yay! Oh, I wouldn't be drinking that if I were you. Well, I'm very glad he didn't just decide to continue drinking the water. I mean, yeah, he needs it, but like, also... Ew. Like, this is me in a video game searching for loot. <laughs> I don't think you're in any state to fight anyone. It's all right. Does it hurt? Oh. Doesn't hurt. Of course it hurts. It just stabbed you in the thigh. Here, let me pull it out. No. no. You're meant to leave it in. Was I? Yes, whenever you're stabbed, you're meant to leave it in. I've never been stabbed before. Oh, neither have I. <sighs> There's no telling who we'll find down there. Why do I feel like... As well. He's sus. My betrothed. Can you travel? Look at me. We ought to keep moving. The least we can do is give him something to eat. Shit. Kick him, Barrack. Oi! Barrack, no! You should have listened to the girl. Barrack! <gasps> Aaron, dear. Oh my god, he's so cool! <laughs> No! Fuck yeah, oh my god. He's the most elven elf to ever elf. Go see if Beric! My horse. I can't abandon him. Settle your own affairs, it seems you best. I have my own to attend to. Help him! God, I hope they get Beric back. I... I would give my soul for that horse. Is her son here? I can't remember what happened to him. Yep, there he is. I'm annoyed at Isildur, though. Go fucking get your horse. That horse went out of his way to come save you. Go save him back. Celebrimbor claims these rings will give us the power to solve our dilemma. I felt it my duty as a dwarf to bring you his offer. Is that all you've come to say? I'm hard as you. Stubborn as you. As crusted with pride and, uh, I was wrong to disrespect you. And, uh, I'm sorry. Damn. I apologize back. You look terrible. Hold. Father, um, 
There's power in the region. I don't trust it. All those years you were watching us. Did you ever know my father? No. Neither did I. But I know this much. He wasn't you. We don't ever need to speak again. Theo. Stop being a little shit. Don't be mean to him. He's just a little guy. No fucking go save Barrack. You should see it. If it's so grand, why'd you leave? I heard there were grander things in Middle Earth. He's gonna like adopt him as his baby brother or something. <laughs> Just wait. Do you really want your horse back? You know where he is? Meet me here tonight. Moonrise. Bring a sword. Why does he know where the horse is? It's hard. Not to blame myself. What for? Being alive. I was ten when I lost my mother. She drowned. Saving my life. I don't like this Lost conversation. But he knows it was my fault. Stop, I'm gonna cry now too. Wow. <laughs> to try and do something singular. Uh oh. I don't have. Uh. Oh, Gary. Also, I love how Beric knew that it was a Sildur. From the fact that, like, he didn't... Someone's out there. Like, he walked behind him and he didn't kick out, it's which horses usually do. I'll quiet him down again. Oh, my lord. Share your fire. What are you doing out here in the dark, boy? Lose your mum. Oh, yikes. I'm one of you. Hold him! Oh! That was a hell of a throw. Oh my god, run, Theo. What the fuck? just happened oh she's stunning see i personally would have went for the red but my god does she slay that white the grief of numenor is sacred to me your pain a prayer within these walls i hear your sorrow and your anger should there be another among us who feels moved to speak? For whom do you cry out? For Isildur! It is because of this our kinsmen died in Middle Earth. This elf stone is your queen! Silence! We need it. Oh, Jesus 
Christ. Oh, he's so pretty. The Eagle Papers Parazon. How do you know it favors him? How do they know it favors him? It didn't fucking say, hey, I favor this guy. I am. They're going through with it then, huh? As soon as Durin said he doesn't trust it, his father was like, All right, I trust it. Oh, he's gonna put some dark magic into it. Don't let him touch it. He's gonna swap it? Oh no, he's still putting it in. He imbued that with some dark shit, didn't he? Oh, he's... I can't... I can't be mad at him, he's pretty! Fuck. Fuck, 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 Durin is right! Ugh. Shit. Oh, man, what another... another gripping episode. What the fuck happened to Theo? Like, was that some kind of, like... It didn't feel like a troll, because, like, trolls don't make that kind of noise, and it felt like it, like, whatever it was, grew in size above Theo. So I don't I don't know what the hell was going on there, but Isildur better get some help and go find him. Um, I wonder if Arendir, he'll go back and get Arendir and then he'll be the one to save him and maybe that'll like rekindle a little bit of a friendship between them. I don't know, but I feel like Isildur and Theo are just going to be like brothers now and I love that for them. I love that. Theo needs that in his life. Um, and I understand his distrust and, you know, whatever with... Uh, Aaron dear, but at the same time, like, show him a little bit of sh respect, but, you know, um, and now we have Sauron clearly putting some, he, like, I mean, he touched the mithril, so he's obviously gonna put some kind of dark shit in it, and then shit's gonna go on wrong with the rings, and then Durin's gonna be like, I fucking told you I didn't trust him, like, I don't, I don't trust this shit, and then chaos, chaos will erupt, um, but yeah, another great episode. Everything was beautiful. I am so excited to see what happens next. I don't trust the, the guy, the guy in red. Don't trust anyone, really. And that girl's a bitch for fucking throwing that like a ball and ball. But yeah, um, I'm going to move on to the next episode. I'm excited. I'm like so into it now that I'm just going to keep finishing the season. I think we've got six episodes to catch up on, so... Uh, we'll get there, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, so peace!